What's good everyone, welcome back to the channel. So guess what, we get to finally freaking talk about the Nintendo 2DS and see how it holds up in 2020. Now I've done like 15 of these videos already and I feel like with the 2DS it's probably one of those consoles that have probably been one of the more interesting design choices by Nintendo and I feel like, you know, it doesn't really matter what my opinion is anymore, but I feel like it was kind of an important console but also at the same time kind of a goofy one and if you remember when the Nintendo 2DS was like kind of being announced not really people thought it was actually a joke like back in 2013 I guess in 20 in October around that time frame even before then Nintendo actually put out like this video and it was showing like the Nintendo 2DS and like basically exactly what it was and people thought it was like a joke and this was before I think it was like officially announced and they just kind of like put that video out and I guess they saw the public reception and I guess they saw that a lot of people wanted it and I guess they made it. So I can't really blame them. I mean, it was pretty smart in terms of a business choice, but the Nintendo 2DS wasn't necessarily a successor to the 3DS. It was more so just a budget version of the 3DS, if that makes any sense. So it was pretty much like the Switch Lite that we have now, and it was pretty much ported over into a smaller version. And I think, you know, like I said, it was a pretty smart thing to do. This thing is like seven years old now. And even though the Nintendo 2DS isn't my cup of tea, it's not the specific one I would use, I do like the successor of this, the 2DS Excel. I think that was a great console. I think that one was really, really nice. Now, Nintendo obviously did discontinue this, I think in 2016 or 2017, whenever the new 2DS came out. But weirdly enough, I still see these for sale all the time at Best Buy and stuff, and they're selling for about like $50 over there. And I think at that point, I, I don't really think it's worth $50 to be honest, especially now in 2020, because 3DS and 3DS Excel prices have depreciated so much that it really doesn't make too much sense why to, you know, to pick up a 2DS unless you really like that form factor. But a 3DS is way more portable, and I feel like you're gaining more functionality from a 3DS than a 2DS. And I might even make a video comparing those two in 2020 and saying like how they hold up up in 2020 and all that but the 3ds i feel like you can do much more with it and you can probably pick one up for less than 50 i mean i picked mine up like a year and a half ago for like 35 or 40 dollars i think and that was a really really good deal so i feel like you can do the exact same thing with the 2ds so far so looking on the front with the 2ds now what's interesting about this obviously is that it doesn't fold there's no clamshell design on this it's literally just like a big pda tablet kind of thing <laughs> You have that front camera up there which is nice and you have like a speaker kind of and you have like the obviously like the basically the same type of control as a regular 3ds but you just lack that 3ds and 3d functionality capability which i'm totally okay with i honestly did not care at the end of the day i feel like it was a gimmick and for them to even sell it with that for that to be a selling factor was really weird but it was pretty good marketing i mean with a ds i mean dual screen now we have a 3ds that was like pretty nice but now we have a 2ds so doesn't that make like the ds also like a 2ds in a way because that showed 2d i don't know on the front though we do have a 3.5 inch 3 screen on top so a 3.53 inch screen up top it is a 400 by 240 resolution and i think it was like about the same type of resolution as the original 3ds it doesn't feel much you know different to me and then a 3.02 inch screen on the bottom and that was 320 by 240 and the screens themselves weren't really that bad i felt like you know they were pretty decent they literally looked just like the 3ds screen they might have been a little bit of a different size but they also had the home button up front and then really the, the power button and everything and really the whole functionality was pretty much the same and some people even liked the way this one felt in the hands in terms of the controls you know they were kind of a little bit different and a little bit different placement so i really didn't you know care too much about that and i don't really have a problem with that per se the main thing i had a problem with was just the build quality of this thing and especially now in 2020 this thing in terms of the build quality it just doesn't hold up that well you know it just really doesn't and i hate to say it because i like the ds lineup i like all ds you know consoles i even like this one in some ways but i just think what nintendo was doing they were just trying to strip everything out and trying to make it like super super basic and because of that they really flawed out on some of the core characteristics that made the ds line very very nice from even the ds Lite, and that was actually the build quality i really like the build quality of the 3ds and the 3ds excel even the dsi and dsi excel i feel like those were pretty decently built consoles and those felt really really nice in the hands the 2ds though it just doesn't feel that premium now and that's not to say that I hate DS's or anything like that. I think the 2DS Excel was built very, very well. But I also have to remember the demographic that Nintendo was trying to go for with this specific console. They're trying to make it so it was, you know, a, a budget console and, you know, something that somebody could go and, you know, get it for a cheaper price and be able to still play all those Nintendo games. Because, you know, at the end of the day, Nintendo makes a majority of their money from the games 
themselves and not necessarily the consoles. I mean, they make a ton of money off the consoles, but I'm sure they make a majority of the money off the games themselves. And the 2DS wasn't supposed to be like a game changer or anything like that, but you know, it did bring a couple cool things, which I give a lot of respect for Nintendo to do. Now the 2DS, it cannot play the games in 3D, but it can still play those games if that makes any sense. So all those 3DS games, really there was no functionality behind the 3D feature. It didn't, it wasn't like it unlocked new features or anything like that, but it did allow you to actually go and play those games still, which I think is like the best thing ever. I never liked that 3D functionality and I feel like it hurt my eyes at the end of the day. For something like this, it was actually very, very nice that it, uh, that it removed that feature and then eventually with the 2DS XL, they kind of mixed the 3DS and 2DS combined and made that. And I felt like that was such a great console with the 2DS though, the original one, it did not have that 3D functionality. So, you know, that was really good. I really liked that. But the weird thing is, is that it could still take 3D pictures on the back because of that dual camera setup. And it's so funny, this console came out in 2013 and most phones at the time didn't even, didn't even have a dual camera setup. But this thing had a dual camera setup in 2013, which is so crazy. To give you some perspective, the first iPhone to bring a dual camera setup was the iPhone 7 Plus and that came out in 2016. So it's crazy. This thing was three years ahead of its time. So this thing is still worth it just because of that camera setup. And you were able to take those 3D pictures on the 2DS. You weren't able to display them on the 2DS, but you can still take those photos and everything, which is really cool. So shout out to Nintendo for at least having that. Now the funny thing is is that in terms of the design, it like kind of sloped from the bottom down, so like sloped inwards, so the top was technically fatter than the bottom so you actually had to go and kind of hold it a different way and this was just like such a goofy console like it's not it wasn't a bad console per se but it was just kind of goofy at the end of the day and i feel like nintendo you know they did a couple weird things here and there but i think in terms of the design that's one aspect of it that probably hasn't held up the best for this specific console and i'm sure there's people who like it but the 2ds definitely was one of those more interesting designed ones the 2ds xl obviously was the better one in my opinion now that pretty much covers it up in terms of the outside and the history now i want to hit on the games real quick so this thing obviously the reason you're picking up this console is to play all those great games and for sure this thing is a killer console in terms of the game selection you have all those 3ds games that were really great i think there's been a ton of 3ds games that are really great and really really awesome but you also have all those ds games that you can play on this thing too this thing is backwards compatible so you are able to play those games which is really really nice and i love seeing that so you have a crazy amount of games you can play on this thing you can literally pick any letter in the alphabet and do like any number and then combine them and there's probably a game with that name in it and you can play that game for hours and hours and there's just so many games out for this thing and my favorite thing is is when i go into gamestop or wherever i barely even go there anymore but if i do and i stop in seeing that whole like rotating glass panel of like all the ds games it's just so awesome and to see like how many i played in the past like animal crossing and new super mario bros and all those ones man i never really played the 3ds that much but the ds i played a ton and the 2ds for sure the fact that it can play those games is awesome and i love seeing that capability on this console so in terms of the 2ds in terms of the game selection it's crazy you'll have so many games out for this thing and i love seeing that for a gaming console like this however what i will tell you is, is and i actually did this with my 2ds i believe i, I did mod the 2ds to be able to you know play other things and do other things with it and i think a modded 2ds really does bring so much more functionality and so much more quality of life into a console like this because it just unlocks so many things you can do you know for example instead of carrying all your games with you you can carry just one console and an sd card and be able to do that legally you know what i mean and do not illegally download your games i'm not telling you to do that but you have that capability on this device and you know it's really not that hard if i could do it i'm sure everyone else can do it i think there's a method called sound hacks that's the one that i used i think as long as you have like an r4 card or a flash card you can do it and i think i made a video and talked about how to install a flash card in your 2ds with the r4 card or whatever i don't really remember but i think for sure at the end of the day the 2ds for the modding capabilities that it has is very great and it's probably one of my favorite things about the 2ds you know it's not the best looking thing it's not the most functional thing it doesn't have the most amount of features but it does have the capability of it being modified and you know just being able to do anything you want with it and it's much easier to modify i think a 2ds than modifying like a nintendo switch or something like that so if you want to you know if you need to get a 2ds you can get it from there but if you need a 2ds excel if you can get it and if you can kind of jump up the 2ds excel might be the better way to go at the end of the day bro so the nintendo 2ds 
has a lot of things going for it. The main thing, probably the battery life. The battery life on the 2DS is still very, very good because of those panels and the fact that they're not super high resolution and the fact that it doesn't have like a 3D toggle that has to turn on and off. That just means that this device will have really, really great battery life at the end of the day. And my 2DS has been able to last me for a very long time on standby. You know, I charge it for a video. You know, I might come back to it a little bit later and to see if it's still on and it'll still turn on. And I have a lot of respect for this console and I really, really do like this console a lot at the end of the day. So to kind of sum up this video dude the nintendo 2ds i like it it's a little weird here and there but i think it's worth you know a little bit of money but i think if you're going to go for the used market i would probably recommend picking up a 3ds or 3ds xl i feel like those you're going to get a little bit of a better value per dollar on your device than this console but i still think this console is pretty good too so if you want to pick up a 2ds or 2ds xl i'll leave those linked down in the description below you can get them from there and help support the channel at the same time but that is pretty much it if you guys have any other questions or anything leave it down in the comment section as well hit the like button that would mean so much but definitely hit that subscribe button every single subscriber that we get really does count so it means so much if you guys could hit that also check out the other links down in the description as well my twitter my instagram my second channel all those things are linked down below i'd really appreciate it if you guys would check it out more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video Peace out till then.